Welcome on the channel. I have been contacted by Wondershare to do a review on Famisafe. And Famisafe claims that this is the most reliable parental control app. It lets parent control the screen time, track real-time location and detect inappropriate content on kids' devices. Now I have two boys at home, one seven years old, one almost four years old, and believe me, I'm starting to really look around for tools like this. So what I'm going to do in this video guys, I'm going to set up together with you the Famisafe on my phone as well on the phone of my kid, explain you the installation process, try to see all the options that the tool offers and at the end give you guys a very honest opinion. Famisafe is a tool to safeguard your kids. It gives you a very nice and good control on the digital habits of your kids, but it does also give you tracking capabilities. So you probably will know where your kid is when of course the mobile device is with your kid. And you'll also know, you know what type of content your kid is actually using. Of course, it will try to protect the kid you know, from cyberbullying, sexual predators, and etc. All right, so it protects your kids in all around way. It has this activity report, application timeline, the application installed up, so you get a very good grip of exactly how your kid is using your phone. Then of course you're able to also access the web content. What exactly is your kid interested in, right? And of course it has app usage and app logger. Now this is very, very important. You know, you can put a limit, you can block several applications if you don't want your kid to use them. And then of course it will also help you get parental alert set up. So let's say your kid asking some inappropriate content, boom, you get an alert. Then of course you have screen time. This is very, very important for a person like me. My kid used to stay a lot of the screen, so if I'm not there to tell him, hey, please stop, he can go forever on and on. You have the family locator, which is tracking your kids in real time. You can set safe zone, like for example, the place the kid lives or grandmother, grandpa. Here's the application, family safe, starting for the first time. So when you start the application, you're gonna get greeted by this screen. Who uses this device? Is it the parent? Is it the kid? All right, now in my case, I am the parent still. You get your parent code displayed on the screen and also some instructions how to pair your code. You need to install the FamiSafe Kids app on your kid's device, all right? Then you need to open it and tap pair. Use the pair code above and finish the remaining process. And this is now what I'm gonna do. Here I got the second phone and this is the phone my kid is using. You need to install the app for kids device, FamiSafe Junior on the phone. You can also very quickly access it from i.famisafe.com. So just hit the install button right now. Activate accessibility. Enable accessibility permission for Famisafe in the setting, okay? So you need to enable some things so that Famisafe is able to really operate your kid's phone and then you're gonna get all, of course, the nice stuff, all right? I got now the message, congratulations, all the steps done. You can open Famisafe Parents app on your phone to supervise the device and, of course, you need to log in with your account registered. Now I need to set up a Famisafe pin for security purposes. All right, so I'm just gonna set a pin here. So we have seen how easy it is to install the Famisafe on your parents' phone and of course as well on the kids' phone. What I'm gonna show you guys right now is what you can do with the tool. All right, so I have here my Pixel 3 XL, which is used by my son, and I have here my S21 Ultra, which is the phone called the parents' phone. All right. So the kid can start the Famisafe Junior application and the kid already can see the top five most used applications. Um, as you can see, we have 152 minutes um, on YouTube, almost one hour on Brawl Stars, half an hour on Fortnite, Clash Royale and of course Google Play Store because who doesn't really want to install new apps? Everybody does, right? So guys, I've started Famisafe on the parents' phone and this is gonna be the first thing you're gonna see. This is the home screen with some very important vital information. And of course the first thing one parent to want to see is where exactly the kid is located. So you can see here VST Kids Pixel 3X, you can just see the exact address and of course you can zoom in and out and you'll get really a very decent view on the location of your kid. Second important information on the home screen is today's screen time. So we can just see usage time is four hours today, four hours 22, and device rules are set to off right now. And of course, there are the alerts that you have been receiving from your kid's phone. So I can see, for example, that my kid installed a new application, which is the Clash Royale. I can see some explicit content detected from the YouTube application, right? It could be anything related to violence and etc. You know how these games are. Also, we can monitor phone vitals. And this is very important information. I can see that around 10 a.m. the kid's phone had less than 20% battery. 
and you can just see everything that actually the kid has been doing all day on this phone and it gets only better guys so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is here the features menu this is the so-called features menu and this is actually all you can do with Famisafe and all the information and all the statistics and all the controls you can apply to your phone and this is all done from here and I'm going to show this to you right my advice is just click here the hamburger menu it will visualize all the features with these very nice icons and I'm going to review each one of them of course starting with the activity report so what can you do with the Famisafe activity report you can check the daily phone usage details in a timeline format so right now I can check that the clock application has been accessed I can check that 15 minutes ago YouTube was used right I can check that Clash Royale was used Google was used I can check that Brawl Stars was used and you can get this information in this very nice decent way the activity report will not only give you information about when and what applications are used but also what videos your kid is watching and which websites it accesses. So let me give you an example. I know that my kid used YouTube for videos per watch. When I click here I'll get the exact videos that my kid has been watching with the timestamp. September the 9th YouTube users time 52 minutes four views and these are these videos I told you you can also check the web pages so games rather has been visited if you click here you're gonna get the exact link that has been opened and even a nice preview here how fancy is that refreshing the activity report is very easy you just do like this and then you'll immediately get access to the very latest information pay attention right now here today I can scroll and I can check what has happened yesterday Photos application been used, camera been used, YouTube has been used, one video watched. What is this video? I'm gonna open the video and I'm gonna see, right? The very exact video my kid watched. Facebook has been used, Google Play Store, Google.com has been visited, and you just get all of this information in a very nice organized way. The next feature is screen time and is easily one of my favorite features. Let me explain you why. Not only are you going to get information about how much your kid is using his phone you are also gonna get access to app usage and blocker you'll be able to instantly block all the applications you're gonna be able to set time limits for some applications you'll be able to create smart schedule which means using time and location an example kids go to school boom you can restrict games kids enter back home boom you can allow games screen time limit you can just say hey you know I don't want that you use the phone more than one hour boom when it's done it's over and then you can allow apps that will work every time even if you impose blocks like of course calendar like SMS like the location so let us review all these options one by one today my kid used the screen time for four hours 41 minutes which I know is a lot but hey we've been testing remaining right now is zero because I didn't really set any limits app usage and blocker this is really where it gets interesting when I click here view all I'm gonna get today's information so we can just see two hours 32 minutes use of video players and editors such as YouTube you can just see here the tax the green one is for the game so one hour and 15 minutes gaming and 54 minutes other and then you can just see all the games properly tucked and everything really represented into this very nice visual way and you get today's report you get a report for the last seven days 15 days and even 30 days when you're using the seven days report you can very easily see what type of applications your kid is using right now I can just see my kid is using video players and editors which in most cases means YouTube now let me show you something fancy I'm currently browsing the app usage and having access to the blocker my kid use YouTube for more than two hours and well I decide okay it's too much when I click here on this X boom YouTube is blocked let's say the kid has the phone in his hands he wants to further watch YouTube videos he opens YouTube sorry the app is blocked by your parent and I'm gonna get immediately a notification that my kid tried to open a blocked app but hey it also have feedback so the kid can ask a request all right now I'm gonna get a request here request from my kid you know he wants me to unblock YouTube so let's say today I'm in a good mood so I can either refuse or accept this request for now I'm gonna hit accept so I can just say hey you can use YouTube but only for 30 minutes right the kid will get a notification your parent has allowed your request now you can use YouTube for only 30 minutes and when you launch YouTube you know it's going to work if you want to allow an application you can just click here and then voila your kid can use it no problem at all 
and there is of course the option to set a limit, a time limit. When I click here on this clock icon, I can enable the time limit, right? And I can just say, hey, every day my kid will only have one hour or I can just use a custom duration and you can also use a restriction schedule. So let's say if I enable that one, I can say, hey, I don't want that my kid will use YouTube after 10 p.m. and before 7 a.m. in the morning every day. Or, you know, you can just go for a custom duration. So the options really are unlimited. The instant block adding in self-explanatory, let me just show you how this works. So if I select the instant block, all the applications are going to be blocked besides the one that are allowed. So let's say my kid want to start Spotify. Well, sorry, the screen time is reached. And then, you know, the story, kid can ask a request and etc. And like I told you, you can play with this. You can create an application limit. So for example, you select all the social or all the games, right? And the software will automatically group all the games. Then you can go next. So every day your kid will have only one hour while using all of these applications. And to make it even more complex, you can set restricting schedules for each one of them just the way you want it. You can try to be more agile and smart when using the smart schedule. So let's say I can say, hey, I want to set the location school and the schedule will apply that when my kid enters school, all games and YouTubes will really be blocked and vice versa, right? When my kid is back at home, I can allow the use of games and YouTube. If you don't want to play with the nitty gritty details and setting up everything individually, you can just play large, go to screen time limit and then say, hey, my kid is going to have only one hour or only two hours or only 30 minutes of use every day. No matter what the kit uses, when it reaches this time limit, then boom, only the allowed applications are going to work. Speaking about allowed applications, these applications will never be blocked. And of course, we have the phone, we have maps, we have clock, calendar, photos, messages, and of course, some others, but you are able to change the order, change the app list inside here. Next feature is the YouTube application control. And again, I think this is really self-explanatory. You can check what exactly your kid is watching. You can block videos that you think are inappropriate and you can monitor and detect any suspicious text into the description, title, comments, anything that you think is offensive, violent, and etc. All right, so let me just show how this works. My kid watched this video, right? It's a public video, but I can decide to block the video, right? So next time my kid wants to open this video, well, that's not gonna be possible. If you made a mistake, you can click on the hamburger, go to the block list, right? And then, you know, you can just unblock those videos. And guys, this is so smart that it will try to detect for offensive word. And in order for this explicit content detection to work, you need to connect your social account with the FamiSafe Paraton Control. And then guys, you just gonna get another level of intelligence. The next feature is the TikTok app history, which is 100% the same as the YouTube control app. Next one is the inappropriate pictures. This one is very important, guys. FamiSafe will try with AI to determine if your kid is watching something he should not be watching and then guys you're just gonna get of course a notification and of course you can action. How cool is that? Explicit content detection. You can decide which of the kids social account to leak and then family safe explicit content detection will work up to nine social media. So you can do this on SMS, on WhatsApp, on Messenger, on YouTube, on Instagram, Twitter. And the, what is going to happen is when the family safe finds explicit content, you will get to review the messages. Next feature is the browser history from which you can check your kid's browser history and you can also check what websites your kid visited right and then of course if you don't like some of the site like epic games for example i can decide to block it right and save which will mean next time your kid wants to access it well it's going to be blocked now i can allow it back all right so no problem at all but you can monitor and control very effectively from within the parent's phone the next feature which is the web filter is also very closely linked to the previous feature FamiSafe supports up to 10 categories like inappropriate like drugs, deceptive and phishing weapons, crime and death and it will directly block all of those pages so that your kid will not be able to access them, right? You can just see there are even more arts and entertainment, social affairs, shopping, health and fitness, game, right? So you can always fine tune this up to your taste and of course what you think is really best for your kid. Safe Search will block the kid's browser every time the results contain explicit content so you can either enable it like right now or yeah 
you can also disable the safe search. Next we have real-time location. One of the most important features because everybody really want to know where exactly the kid is. When you enter the real-time location you can just see exactly where your kid is but also very important how much percentage battery is left on the phone and you can just see this was updated 30 seconds ago, right? It's very, very useful information. The next feature, the location history, is of course also very much linked to location. On the map, you're gonna see all the locations your kid been the whole day. And then of course, down below, you can scroll and you can just see the exact address. Very, very useful information what safety is concerned. The next one, driving report, is something, guys, I'm not able to show you, but with the driving report, if your kid is old enough, of course, to have a driving license, you can get a detailed view of your kid's driving details. You can also review the driving routine for each trip. You can set up speed limits, right? So let's say you don't want your kid to go more than 80 kilometers, you put here, enable drive safety, Every time your kid is gonna go over 80 kilometers per hour, hmm, yeah, you're gonna know. And you can choose meter or mile, so it's actually, you know, everything is there. So 80 kilometers will be 55 miles per hour. Next feature is the content manage. Inside you'll have three features. You can disable the installation of all new applications. You can also disable the camera and the SMSs if this would be your choice. And last but not least, we have geofences. This one is very clever because it allows you to set a specific area to get notified when your kid will enter or leave a specific location. So right now I've set a new location school. Every time my kid is going to enter school, I'm gonna get notified. So this has been all the nice features, right? But there are some more important menus. One called notices. Inside you're gonna see all the requests from your kit, like the one before where my kid wanted me to unlock YouTube. And if you click here the alerts, you're gonna see all the alerts for the day. Of course, issues with the applications and etc. all is gonna be grouped here. Last menu is the account. Inside the account you'll have access to device management where you can remove your phone or connect to a new device. You have access to your subscriptions where you see where they're going to expire or not. You are able to change the pin. This is the pin that I'm using to enter this application because it's pin protected. You can just send some feedback to one of the shared developers. You can log out and install and you can check the about version. And did I mention that everything you can do from your phone, you can also do it on your PC, on, on your tablet. So I'm just showing you guys this is my dashboard on my PC. I can go to features, I can go to YouTube app control, and I'm gonna be able to see the exact same information, all the alerts, all the browser history, everything. I can decide to block or to unblock, like I showed you on my phone. I can go to screen time and practically see everything the very same way I was able to see it from my phone. So let's decide to do a block on everything. I can do it. Let's decide to check the usage. I can directly do this on my PC with this very nice graphic user interface directly from the Famisafe Wondershare webpage. Everything really works like a charm. So everything that you can do from the parent's phone, you can also do it from your PC using a simple web browser. So how cool is that? Honestly, my opinion is if you are into parent control and family safe, it's probably one of the best apps out there. If you want to test it, guys, please go ahead, download it. There is a free trial. So if you like it, then you probably decide to use it for a longer period. I really hope that my review makes sense and you like it. If that's the case, then go visit the Family Safe webpage. You're gonna find the link down below into my video description. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe for my channel. With that said, VST over and bye.